Well, good day, good day. No, I don't have a breakdown. The Revel is a knock on wood running pretty well, but we're just back from our uh, trip. We have about 22, almost 23,000 miles on here. Um, let me round, here we go. Uh, I just did the A service here. And uh, so basically they checked the fluids, changed the oil, the filters, had the tires rotated. Um, <clears throat> it wasn't too bad. I had it done in uh, uh, Sarasota, Sarasota Mercedes. It was like a $98, $99 service with tax and everything. It was like, I don't know, one fifteen somewhere in that neighborhood. So it wasn't too bad. But... Um, I'm, what I'm doing is preventive maintenance right now. We're going to clean the EGR uh, valve. And uh, there's been a lot of issues with folks who have ignored that component. Oh, there's the neighbors. They're out shooting. Yeah, I'm in Florida. Everybody has a shooting range out here. I can't tell them to stop, that's for sure. <laughs> so you might hear some gunshots in the background. Uh, that's what I love about this state. Um, where was I? Oh, so the, the, some folks have been um, neglecting that component. And around twenty to 30,000 miles, a lot of you have been having issues. And now you're on a trip somewhere and <clears throat> you have no throttle, no power, especially when you get up into elevation area. So I've been every 10,000 miles. It's just something that I do. So this here is the oil filter. I'm, I'm sure there are a couple of videos out there. Now this is the 22 Revel 22-23 uh, Mercedes. Um, Mercedes Revel 23 Mercedes 22. Uh, so this is up to date. Um, so this is your oil filter. This is your this is your EGR valve here. It has to do with the emissions. You'll see when I open it up, it'll be black inside with some fins that open and close. Um, sorry for the shadows here, but the sun is just like shining down in this area. Uh, which is good for me to work here, but probably not too good with the shadows for, for, for filming. But anyway, uh, so I'm going to show you how I basically is. It's like five screws here, eight millimeter or five sixteenths will do. We'll take these off. Um, long stem with about a six inch extension, so you can get that in there. Um, and you got to you got to take this here off right here. This here little bolt, so you can swing this oil fil filter around because you won't be able to pull this thing up with with this bracket right here it just it's it's interfering with this this unit coming straight up okay so let me undo all this you can leave the hoses on here you don't have to take the hoses off um, and uh, so let me undo all this and I'll show you how black it is on the inside here yeah. it takes about an hour I guess to do this 45 minutes an hour not too bad and let me turn this back there you are um and what i do is i uh i keep the fluid and i keep the uh i have a, a i have the wrenches inside too so if i am out west or if i am away from from my home area I can uh, do this right on the side of the road if I find that all of a sudden, you know, and you're gonna find that depending on how you're driving is if you if you if you do a lot of idling and heavy traffic, let's say you're you're you live in the city or you live next to a large city and you're you are you're out in California and you're always in that heavy traffic, you're gonna find it's gonna suit soot up much quicker. Then I'm out in the rural area here of Florida. I'm not on the coastline. I don't get into heavy traffic that often. So I um, 
my RPMs are up high a lot. I'm, I'm usually on an open road or on, on 75 or 95 uh, heading out of Florida. I really don't use it as a daily commuter, uh, so I don't build up that carbon. Uh, so I can I can stretch my my interval cleaning here uh, to the 10,000, even 15,000 mark if I wanted to. But I just don't want to be on the trip and have an issue. So it's just part of my oil. When I do the oil, now I do the oil every 10,000 miles too. Every second oil I bring it into the dealer. So they it's on record that at least they have it on record that every 20,000 miles. They change the oil for you know 115 bucks is worth it for me to do it. I don't have to deal with the used oil and and it cost me like I think I what was it? How much did I, I priced it out once? I was gonna well no I have done it once and it was um it's like 90 bucks with the filters and the oil and all that. So uh, for I don't know 50 bucks well 40 bucks more 50 bucks more I'd rather have them do it. You know um, I don't have to deal with it. And it's on record too that I have kept up with it, even though I'm doing it every t every ten thousand, every other ten thousand, I'm doing it myself. Um, I just don't, I just don't feel comfortable stretching it to twenty thousand. Um, I just don't, I just don't think it's good. There's a lot of soot in that oil, and I, you know, the Mercedes says yeah, no problem, but I, I'd rather, I'd rather be on the on the cautious side, and you know. So let me show you the gear, not the gear, but the tools here that So I just use brake cleaner or you can use carburetor cleaner same it'll work uh, I have a couple of brushes here that I use to get inside the uh, uh, You'll see inside the, uh, the the valve you need pliers or, or you're gonna need a, a couple of snips here because you got to move um, a couple of those wire clamps that hold the clamp on to the t head of the uh, EGR fill. I need a screwdriver so that you can um, undo the electrical connection at the top and these are the two 8 millimeter and 5 16 millimeter here uh, socket to, to undo that. And then you need paper towels and I don't wear gloves I just keep my hands clean as best as I can and I wash them right away I just can't wear those gloves so, so let's uh, let me go over there undo that and uh, uh, show you the inside of this thing all right so I just just loosen this up all right. so I took out this little bolt and then you just Take this whole unit and you just kind of spin it, spin it out of the way. There you go. So now we'll take off the five of these here, uh, eight millimeter, and this, and then this is the hard part. Sometimes this gets stuck, so you need to finagle it a little bit. Try to wiggle it out straight up. It just comes straight up. Okay. Okay, we just got to pop that open, pull that out, and now uh, just lift up on this thing, and that should just pop right off. Okay, here we go. So you got the uh, you got the wiring plug right here. We'll just tuck that off to the side a little bit. Okay. All right. So now we'll just undo these. undo those. I need two hands for this, so I'll put you away for a second. Okay, so here are the uh, four the four bolts that I took out of this thing. Alright, so if you just tap it, tap it lightly with your hand and keep wiggling and wiggling, but now you can see. And you can hear it. It's coming loose. And if you look closely down here, You'll see there's a gap forming, so it is coming up, but it's so corroded in there. So what I do is I take my spray, 
and then I just I just spray a little bit of this cleaner underneath here. Oops. Get it in that crack. I don't know if you can see that yeah. And then uh, I give it a minute or two, let it do its thing. Let it try to dissolve some of that. Uh, and then we'll wiggle it some more. Alright, give me a couple of minutes here. I'll come back once I get this thing out. But this is the hardest part. It's just, <laughs> is loosening it up to get it out. It's a very tight. It's machined very tightly. Okay. Okay, guys. Here it is. We got it up. Oh, I got it up. <laughs> Look at how caked up that is. That's like 10,000 miles on this thing. So... If I were to go 20, 30,000, I could see where this thing would, even though I, most of the miles, 95% of the miles on this thing is all highway, uh, I can see where um, you would have an issue. So let's clean this thing up, get it nice and shiny in there, and uh, we'll put it all back. I'll stuff that with paper towels and then put a couple of layers of paper towels over this whole area so that we don't get this liquid uh, from the from the cleaner drop you know dripping all over my motor so we'll keep this nice and clean it is the dipstick too see the dipstick down there i don't know if i can show you there's the dipstick cover where's my finger here it is so i ordered from our old van the uh, the manual dipstick that should be here next week it's it's it, they shipped it um because i noticed on my dash turn this thing around I noticed on my uh, on my dash my oil indicator um, it's really fluctuating really severely and I don't trust it I don't know what it, what the actual reading is on my last trip out west I did put a quart in there and then because it was down near the bottom of that indicator and um, after like 30 minutes on the highway, the indicator went up and it was a little bit over the full mark. And I'm thinking, oh, great. So I just left it alone and because uh, I wasn't that much over. I was just like maybe the thickness of one line over. So I, I left it. Um, and now it's three quarters. It's between, you know, how, the, how that bar is divided in two halves. Well, it's down a little bit above the halfway mark. So I'm not adding any more oil in this thing until I get that manual dipstick so I know exactly what I'm looking at. I don't trust that electronic indicator uh, on the dash. So... Uh, as something you might want to look at it. I think with shipping, it was like 55 bucks from our van. Um, and that, again, I'll be putting that in. It's a super easy little thing to do. You just, uh, well, I'll have to turn this camera around, but I showed you where it is. That's just a rubber plug. You pull that rubber plug off, and then you, you slide in the dipstick. Um, super easy. It's like one of the easiest mods you can do, and probably one of the cheapest, too, 55 bucks. Uh, so, I just thought I'd show you that while I had it open and it was accessible and you could see it. And again, this is the 22 Mercedes. So, if you have, I don't know about, and this is the, uh, this is the 3.0 diesel. So, I don't know about the new one, the 23 diesel that they're coming out with, that four-cylinder, whatever it is. I, I, that whole another, you're going to have to try to find the specs on that and figure out what they did different on that on that unit but this is the 22 i would think the 20 21 and 22s are, the, are pretty much the same um, all right let me get back to cleaning this thing and i'll get back to you okay guys here it is took me under 10 minutes to clean this thing whoops try to do this one hand here oh come on <laughs> Come on, you. Here we go. We got it now. All right. See how clean that is now? Now take your finger, and you can 
spin this thing here opens up and let's see if I can do it yeah there it goes see how you open that up so you can get that liquid put that spray right put that spray right in there clean that cylinder right out of there see how it springs right back well what happens is sometimes it just gets stuck there so make sure you you work this thing back and forth what I some what I did is I put a screwdriver I put a screwdriver right in this little hole right here and that kept it open for me and then I uh, I sprayed all in there the best I can I you know so yeah it looks let me see if I get a see you can see how nice and clean that is in there now that that chamber and then over here on the side uh, that's the only opening this, this is the only chamber that's opening that's open in there that you can get in there so yeah spray that all out open this up play with this here spring make sure this thing's all uh coming back here and uh so yeah we're all set now for another 10,000 miles this is probably going to be a 40 minute job here i'm getting faster at it uh Again, the time-consuming part is pulling pulling this thing up. That's, that takes more time than anything else. So um, let me put this all back together, and we're done. Hopefully for another 10,000 miles. All right, folks. Let me uh, let me get let me get back at this. Okay, guys, gals, we're all back together. Uh, about 40 minutes it took me to do this so pretty easy easy peasy uh, I know some of you are going to ask me what that yellow thing is up here <laughs> so this is my DEF let me see if I can put this on wide nope that's close up alright this is my DEF filler so this is where you put your DEF fluid uh, you have a Mercedes you know that already but sometimes if you have the container it's easier just to pour it in here and uh, anyway this is my funnel for my DEF fluid all right and I didn't know where to put it so it fits real nicely in here you mount there's a little there's a little edge there's a little lip right down here where the point goes and then this little lip right here goes right underneath this rubber gasket right here and it holds it right in place and then this here comes right down and sits right on here so doesn't interfere with the airflow and oh, let me make sure I put my cap back on and uh, yeah it's a nice little place to put that it's out of the way and it's here when I need it to do the uh, to do the DEF um, so yeah it's a little hack I figured while I'm here, I'll show you that. This is my compressor, my A and B. This is the forward uh, chuck for the air, air hose for the front front two tires, and then I have one in the rear. But this is this is the this is where they typically put the A and B compressor right right down in this area here. So keep that away. It looks pretty clean. 22, 23,000 miles. It still looks pretty clean in here, so that's good. Yeah, while you're in here, just kind of look around, make sure everything's all right. This here little hose was just flopping around, and I couldn't figure out where it went, but it had this little bracket here, so I just put it back here. I assume it's some sort of air intake or, or air vent uh, underneath this here plastic uh, valve cover here um, uh, other than that I saw that floating around earlier I was wondering where that came from but that's the only place I can think it went to so I may have I may have knocked it off of here by accident so but yeah just kind of look around I check all my fluids I just checked my uh, brakes my windshield wiper this is the this is the uh, antifreeze um, coolant that looks that looks pretty good I usually keep it about halfway here and um, yeah uh, looks good all right hopefully you learned something here hopefully uh, you'll do this super easy I'm telling you anybody can do it um, 
and this will prevent you from having issues on your next long trip, especially when you're thousands of miles away from home. All right, guys. Let me put this away and uh, get this uploaded here. I got a couple of mods I just did on the inside. I'll uh, probably take this afternoon and film those. Live free, live safe, live van overland. Okay, bye.